Morning guys, it's a cold one, it was minus two last night. So I just dived out of there, had the wood burner on this morning. Nice cup of coffee. And I thought I'd just show you what I've done so far while I've been up here, you know, my crafty sort of side of things, you know, amongst all my other bits and pieces that I've been doing. So, all unfinished projects, but I'm kind of <coughs> finishing them as I go, just picking bits up every now and again and whittling away. So I've done me cookser while I was here. A little spoon, Mrs. Bushwhacker carved the other day. So that's got to be rubbed down and treated. It's a nice little teaspoon. I like eating off teaspoons, so it's come on nicely. A nice little container. I made that for Mrs. Bushwhacker. She's got to put a few uh, incense in there, so we can just open that up. She's going to open that up and put a few smellies in there. I'm gonna, I want to make a few more of them, I quite like them, you know, different styles, maybe a, a shorter head with a, a wider base or something like that. So that's come out really well. So it's amazing, I, I love going out and getting a bit of wood and just trying to make something out of nothing really. Well it's not nothing, it's, it's a nice bit of timber. That's unfinished, I've still got to, still got to work on that, I'm keeping all this, well this bowl. I should put my cookser in a plastic bag as well, but that's been kept in a plastic bag. Just keeps all the moisture in the wood, stops it drying out and cracking. So I'm really pleased with that. I want to make a few more of these while I'm up here. But that's taken me quite a while. You know, I, I showed you, if you want to go back through my, my other videos, I showed you the, the book I used to, to make that step by step. And it's great for people you know that have got a garden and and some wood and just a, a chopping board and a few tools and you can uh, you can make that that's, that's a great project and then a little carving mallet knock that up they're nice to make as well it's, it's a nice weight this one for my my little gouge so that's that's perfect I want to try and make a few more different sizes of those. And then my bow's almost finished. I didn't make all this up here, but I kind of finished it off up here, so quite pleased with that. Just need a little bit more work on that, so it's another project unfinished. But it's quite nice, you know, just uh, picking something up and doing a bit on it and putting it down and then picking it up again and then obviously me me stall me Dick Prennicky stall that's almost finished that's another <laughs> uncompleted project but hopefully get this done in the next week or so I might have another crack at it crack at it today got the back on it now I'm gonna put a piece of timber along the back and bring it out so there's a you know sort of cradles your back so really pleased with that. So a few crafty things. So trying to trying to keep busy. But this this carving takes so much time. You just you get it. You get your piece of wood and then you start carving and you look at the time and like three hours have gone and, <laughs> and you're just in the moment. I really like it the way you can just focus on that one piece. You know you're whittling away at that and. You just your mind just on that one thing, nothing else. It's 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 a great kind of meditation skill, really. But no, I, I I do like it, and it's if something did break or you know you did need something, you know you can you can craft it in the wild. And it's nice because all these things will kind of remind me of my time that I've um, I've spent here. And also these things I've done before kind of re reminds you when you when you look at them that of the event when you made them and the time you spent in the great outdoors. So I made them too in the teepee. The 
bone uh, was from my Scotland trip. So we just got a bit of birch and whittled it away in the in the log cabin. So that reminds me of that. And uh, another camp out, just whittled away a nice spoon. But I love the grain on on these. Just a select piece of birch and just come out really nice. I thought I'd share that with you this morning. If you are isolated and, and you're thinking of something to do and you want to get into a hobby, it doesn't matter what level you are or if you're just a pure beginner, it's it's just awesome. You know, Louise has been up here roughly the same duration and she's starting to get into her into her carving. And if you can just manipulate a piece of wood, learn some knife skills, it's it's an awesome skill. It gets you confident to to carry on and make other things. But um, yeah, on another video, I've said it before, but I'll go through some of the tools that you need to to make things like this. You've obviously seen some tools that I've been using, well, most of them probably. But you don't need uh, same again. You can go mega expensive or or cheap. I've got I kind of kept it mid range with some of my tools. Obviously, I need more. I'd love more gouges. A whole whole selection of gouges. But I, I like adding to the collection. I wanted to show you what Mrs. Bushwhacker made me. She's getting into her leather work. So she's made me a nice nice little dump pouch. For my belt kit, that's awesome for going out collecting bits and pieces. She knocked that up for me the other day. She's got a few leather tools, so that all folds up nicely. Goes in that little pouch. that's nice and she's put a few collar protectors on my axes and hatchets so she's she's good at the leather work she's made me a few sheaves I always wanted a sheaf for my little well big kitchen knife filleting knife so she's put that on there and a nice sheath for my draw knife. It didn't come with one, so just put that on. And a nice little protective pouch for my um, for my gouge. Just put a little bit of um, decorative scribing on there as well. So. Awesome. So, good old Mrs. Bushwhacker. So it's almost finished, just a few little bits here and there. 
it's a nice rustic stall. So thanks to, to Dick Prennicky for such a great inspiration. If you uh, look at his videos, Dick Prennicky, and you look at his log cabin, he's got a couple of stalls outside. I kind of wanted to make a stall sitting outside the outside the tent. So great inspiration, great guy. If you like the outdoors and a man working with his hands, he's definitely the man to check out and watch his videos and read his books. Go and shop most of my tools and I'm gonna lay them out a bit later and show you what I've bought. I'm just uh, honing the edge on them. I've used them quite a bit now. Just uh, using a strop on these. I've got a few to do, keep me busy this morning. So I'm using a DC4 block and a strop, leather strop, and I'll go through all my tools with that. I really like these little DC4 blocks two sides to them. I've had this quite a while actually. It gives a really good edge to your tools. But it gives them two sharpening methods. Well I've kind of just stropped these but it brings up a gorgeous edge on your tools. So that's ideal for need a nice sharp edge on your tools. It's safer than a than a blunt edge. I've had this probably this forest axe for about three and a half years now and I like to look after the tools. I put a bit of olive oil on there as well when I finished and a little bit on the handle and that looks after it, preserves it and gives a nice finish to the to the shaft as well. So that's had quite a quite a bit of abuse in three and a half years and it's still I think it looks better than the day I bought it. That's predominantly my carving wood preparation uh, tools. So that's my selection of wood prep and carving tools I've been using. I've got a nice hatchet forest small forest axe, a splitting axe and a felling axe there. Them axes cover most situations and scenarios for wood processing and I love the hatchet for carving, it's really good, it's a nice weight to that. And then I've got me selection of gouges, so predominantly that's my newest one, that's, that's awesome that is, that's a number 30, 7L, I'd like a whole collection of them, they're, they're wonderful great tools and then a couple of knives We've got a little more carver there that's nice for fine detail work and then we draw knife that's been uh, used that a few times that's awesome great tool especially if you like bow making and adds that's great I use that making my bowl predominantly that's awesome for, for gouging out large pieces of wood. Me large K bar, that's a great tool. Mrs. Bushwacky loves that. He tends to use that more than the hatchet or the small forest axe. I've sharpened all of them now and now I'm gonna just put a bit of olive oil on the shaft and on the heads just to protect them. So that's pretty much my my selection there of wood processing, wood carving tools but I do like my new <coughs> my new splitting axe that's that's awesome tool processing wood it's a good weight to that I think that's uh three three pound was it three and a half three and a half pound head on there so you know you've used that I do look, look like looking after my tools obviously the more you got the more you've got to sharpen so that's probably taken me about an hour to, to go through that lot. 
So get the olive oil out, I'll keep some just behind the, the lean to get that done. That's so another job done today. Kept putting that off, but you can notice everything's, you know, I do strop now and again on the gouges and that just to keep them sharp. But I could feel the, uh, the hatchet and the axes going off. But it's a nice day, but I can't wait till, I think it's Sunday, it's 17, so I'm just gonna chill out on Sunday in the hammock and uh, maybe read a book or something, be my day off, treat myself, but no doubt I'll be getting up doing something, there's always something to do, <clears throat> I can't believe how busy, it, you know, you, I've got the vegetable patch, the carving, camp maintenance, um, wood preparation, you know, going for a walk, taking a dog for, for a stroll. It's just, it's full on cooking, you know, keeping everything clean and tidy, cleaning yourself. It's, it's a full on task, you don't get bored. But no, it's a, it's a really still day. So I'm gonna crack on with them, get them oiled up. Cause it's still, you know, a little bit damp. I don't want, don't want them going rusty. So that's one done. I'll just oil me me leather as well, just to keep a bit of moisture in it. Look after your tools, and your tools look after you. Great news today. Me radishes are just showing. I don't know if you can see them, probably can't. But they're just starting to push through this sunshine as well hopefully um, the other ones will come through shortly and my garlic's pushing through nicely as well so come on the vegetable plot <laughs> 